I'm joined now by uh, Biomi Azikiwe. Uh, he is the editor-in-chief of the Pan-African Newswire. That's a daily news source about Africa and global affairs. Let me get your thoughts on this, uh, the concerns about violence that we were just reporting on. How worrisome is this for you? Uh, the problem is, is that the uh, opposition uh, national uh, super alliance that's uh, headed by Mr. Raila Odinga has been saying for the last uh, several weeks that if they did not prevail, uh, in the national elections, it would be a result of fraud. Uh, so they have made good uh, on their claim uh, earlier today uh, when he made a press conference saying that people should remain calm. However, uh, the results of the election were a direct uh, product of hacking uh, into the uh, system uh, that was established by the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, uh, resulting uh, from the mysterious death of uh, Christopher Msando uh, nearly a week ago. However, uh, the chair of the uh, Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, uh, Wafula uh, Shekubati, uh, has denied uh, any hacking uh, allegations and has offered uh, for the uh, NASA party to come to the National Tallying Center in Nairobi to view uh, the actual forms that have been submitted uh, by the polling centers uh, to the tabulation center in order to refute uh, any claim of uh, rigging or hacking into the electoral system. You know, it's interesting. Yesterday we were reporting on the long lines. It just seemed like people were embracing uh, the, the election, very much involved in the democratic process. Uh, what a difference a day makes. As you mentioned, uh, these uh, accusations of alleged irregularities, hacking charges. Where do you see things going? Well, things have been relatively calm uh, throughout the country. There were some disturbances uh, earlier in the day uh, in Nairobi and also in Kisumu, uh, which is in the southwest part of the country, which is a stronghold of Raila Odinga. However, uh, with the announcement uh, by the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission chair that the uh, opposition party would be able to come in and view uh, the scanned uh, forms that have been submitted to the National Tallying Center, that the actual forms would be available as soon as they were uh, sent uh, to the center. Uh, this has calmed uh, fears in many respects. Uh, Kenyatta is leading by approximately 10 percent uh, of the national vote. Also, they did quite well. Uh, the Jubilee Party, uh, which uh, Kenyatta heads, they've done quite well in local government elections as well. And there's, in fact, a woman who's been elected the first as a governor uh, in a central uh, county uh, inside Kenya. Uh, so hopefully uh, cooler heads will prevail. Uh, they pledged, the Electoral Commission has pledged to investigate all the allegations in regard to uh, claims of irregularity. Uh, it's interesting, one of the observers of the election yesterday, former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, was saying today that the international community is going to remain committed to the democracy of uh, Kenya. But he also said it's critical that the leaders in Kenya step up and lead in the next few days to give people confidence that the process is being worked through thoughtfully. Do you think that's happening? And, and what do the, these candidates, Odinga and Kenyatta, what do they need to do to send a unified message to the people of Kenya, you think? Well, they need to encourage people uh, to wait for the uh, official results, uh, the winners to be declared. Uh, they also have to uh, stay away from uh, rumor mongering and threats uh, claiming that uh, the elections were rigged when in fact there's no real documented uh, evidence to suggest that. Now there were hundreds of uh, international monitors that participated in the electoral I'm afraid we, uh, we may have lost uh, our audio from Obama uh, in Detroit. Uh, but uh, as he was saying, uh, at this point, uh, no real proof that there were any irregularities, but we'll continue to monitor that story.